Hey everybody, welcome to Bucketman Scouting. Today I'm going to do a film breakdown on 2023 offensive tackle prospect Peter Skaronski out of Northwestern. He is 6'4", 294 pounds. So, this is one of my favorite players in this draft. He's not on the level of a Rashawn Slater. I believe he is a step below of a Rashawn Slater. But he is close to Rashawn Slater when it comes to his technique refinement coming out of the college realm. Um, I believe Peter Skaronski has the highest floor for an offensive tackle in this year's draft. I believe he will be a starter day one. But I believe the person the slash player that has the highest ceiling in this year's draft is the prospect I did before this offensive tackle out of North out of Ohio State, Paris Johnson Jr. So I'm going to get into the strengths and weaknesses of Peter Skaronski. And again, these strengths and weaknesses are strictly my own. So strength number one, quick feet to get inside a defensive tackles to wall off inside and reach linebackers at the second level. Strength number two, quick out of his stance with his footwork to be effective in front of screens. Strength number three, fundamentally sound and understands blocking angles. Strength number four, plays with appropriate wide base and intelligence, instincts and agility to seal the edge, aggressive, extending with the power to punch, and looks comfortable in space. Those are his strengths. His weaknesses, weaknesses number one, susceptible to speed rushers, has only average quickness off the snap, and doesn't possess the acceleration or arm length to corral defenders once they cross face. And strength number two, needs to prove his worth in the straight ahead running game. So Peter Skaronski, <coughs> to me, reminds me a lot of a West Coast zone run principal offensive tackle. We're strictly his best game is like Rashawn Slater where he goes to a West Coast principal system with the Chargers where they use a lot of his quickness and they'll use a lot of his quick his quick footwork and a lot of his quick agility and his quick hips to use to their advantage so let's get into this film review right here I apologize I've been late on these film breakdowns but again I gotta work and I haven't been feeling the greatest so bear with me I might cough a lot so just bear with me on that so you have Peter Skaronski right here number 77 this is against the University of Wisconsin he is in a three-point stance right here. I like his wide base. He has good footwork right here, good footwork alignment. And we're going to see right here what he does on this play. Right there. Okay, so he helps wall off. It's going to be a wraparound. So you're going to have this guy right here. He's going to come inside. You have a guy off the edge here. This is the running back's responsibility. You have Peter Skorotsky right here. So I really like his footwork right here. I really like where he's going to put his right there. Perfect alignment right there. Has him underneath those shoulder pads right there on the breastplate. Chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet. He's not closed lining like a guy like we have in Garrett Bowles. I really like how he's able to recover on this play. So he's going to help push him inside. You have this guy coming down right here. It's a blitz from the linebacker. He's going to take on this linebacker. You're going to have the running back come out here. Bam, right there. He has really good hands. He has quick hands. He has really good footwork as well. He's very technically sound. He's one of my favorite prospects in the draft. I understand the Denver Broncos will not be able to get a guy like this because they traded away all their draft capital for one player who really didn't do shit for them last year. So, again, they're just stuck with Garrett Bowles. Okay, on this play right here, you have a two-point stance. This is against the University of Michigan, a top-four team in the country when it comes to college football. He's in a two-point stance. Michigan has one of the best defensive lines in the country. And this is against number 97, Aiden Hutchinson. And the reason I picked up film from the, uh, last year, I believe, it was a year before that or last year, because I wanted to see him go against Aiden Hutchinson, who was – one of the best defensive ends in the country when he was playing for Michigan. Very, very good. Very good. Let's see what he does here. Let's see how it gets. Let's watch his back foot here. How he gets off the snap. Right there. Bam. Chop, 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 chop. 
Very good. Very good. I understand it's a screen on the top, but I want to see how he gets out of his stance. Very good. Has his hands down here by his hips. Chop, 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 chop. Bam. Very good. Very good play by Peter Skaronsky. <coughs> here he is right here. Chop. There you go. There you go. See what he see what he did here. Okay, bam, two-point stance. Like how he has his hands right here. He's gonna do an inside move. Okay. So in the NFL, when you're going to guys, when you're going against guys like a Leonard Floyd or a Harold Landry that are strictly speed rushers, and Randy Gregory's, who are strictly speed rushers, you want to be careful with moves like this, a counter move, because the difference between an Aiden Hutchinson and the Randy Gregory and the guys like this, well, number one, they he stays healthy, Aiden Hutchinson. Number two, he is not strictly a speed rushing specialist. He's more of a power rushing defensive end specialist in a 4-3. So you see Peter Skaronsky, again, I don't like how Skaronsky has his technique work on this play because he's going to get beat inside here but i really like right here how he gets that back foot plants it right here keeps a wide base and he's able to recover and you see where his hands are on those breast plates so he has them locked up and he's chopping his feet that's a very good recovering ability play by peter skaronsky you're going to see okay right there gets his arm extended right here and you're going to see him trying to do that inside move and then you're going to see the recover watch this foot plant all the way over here Bam, right there. He's chopping his feet. He's chopping his feet. That's a very good play by Peter Skaronsky. Okay, now he's in a three-point stance. He's going against Aiden Hutchinson. Okay, gets out of his break right there. That's a very good play. That's that's good. That's a good play by uh, Peter Skaronsky. Has good wide base. Again, the arms are a little bit too wide for my liking. I like them to be inside a little bit more. So if he could pinch them just a little bit more together. But again, he's able just to, you know, bear hug him. And just not, you know, Aiden Hutchinson baited himself basically. Because he turns around and then that gives Peter Skaronsky everything in the world to do what he wants to do with Aiden Hutchinson there. That's a very good play by Peter Skaronsky. Okay, here he is right here going against number 55 for Michigan. He's in a three-point stance. Let's see how he gets out of his break here. Okay, it's a pulling. There you go. Good job. <coughs> see, I'm telling you, if you do a lot of pulling with him, watch how he gets to the second level. Bam, right there. That's a hell of a play. Watch how they move him here. It's a halfback draw to the right side. Peter Skorotsky is the pulling left tackle there. Bam, right there. That's a very good play by Peter Skorotsky. Gets up. Perfect. Perfect. So you want from an offensive lineman right there. Very good play. It's following number 77. Bam, right there. Good play by Peter Skoronsky. And he's off to the races. Okay, right here he's going against number 55 again. He's in a two-point stance. See how he gets out of his break. Uh, North Rush, Northwestern sorry, is running a 1-2-3 wide receiver set. Let's look at his footwork here. Good getting out of his break. There you go. He's so technically refined. It's unbelievable. Watch how he gets out of his, out of his stance right there. Watch his footwork. Look at that wide base. Look how close his arms are together. That's what I like from my tackles. He's keeping a wide, he's perfect. That is perfect technical refined ability from Peter Skaronsky. Gets out of that break right there. Look how wide his footwork is. His footwork, he's chopping. He's chopping like a bunny. Handwork, technique work, excellent for Peter Skaronsky. Okay, so now you have the tight end coming in motion. You have him going against Aiden Hutchinson again. He's in a three-point stance. See how he does when he's on the move. Very good. Aiden Hutchinson isn't going to do much on that play. Watch how he just locks him up right there. Sets the edge. Sets you, and you see how he's... Look how he turned his hips too. You want, as an offensive lineman, 
when they're doing a lot of those stretch plays to the side, you want your offensive lineman hips to be vertical, not, not horizontal. You want it to be vertical so they could set that edge for the running back so he can have room to run. That is perfect. Perfect ability right there. Let's go back and watch that. Want everybody to see how he goes lateral? Watch how he goes lateral. Number 77. You see how he's going lateral? Then watch how he turns his hips right there. Bam. You see how he quickly turns his hips? Drives him, drives him, drives him. Good play, good play by Peter Skaronsky. Okay, on this play, he's on a two points or three point stance again. My apologies. Number 55 for Michigan. And again, the reason I chose the Michigan film review is because Michigan is one of the top teams in the country. He ain't going against Nebraska with Scott Frost, okay? This is against, you know, top-level competition. Okay, let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he gets out of his hands, going number 55. I think he is a better uh, run blocker than Paris Johnson. I think Paris Johnson is a better pass protector when it comes to his run. Paris Johnson just has that higher upside. Skaronsky's just, he's ready to start right now. I'm not saying Paris Johnson isn't, but the higher floor right now, if the Chicago Bears want him, for example, he's ready to start right now and protect the left side for Justin Fields if they want to take a chance on him. I think Skaronsky's just technically refined right now to start in both phases. Chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet, driving him. That's a very good play. He's setting that edge. You don't see a lot of pressure or anything coming from that left side because Skaronsky, look at that. Look at that, how he gets, you see how his hands underneath those breastplates and he's chopping and he's moving them and driving them. That's what you want from your tackles. Perfect play by Skaronsky. Okay, now this is against Purdue. He's in a three-point stance going against a defensive end. That's a good play by Skaronsky. Holy crap. That's one of my favorite run-blocking plays from him. Watch how he just – he's chopping his feet and just watch him blow up number six. Bam. He's driving him. Watch how he just blows him up here. Bam. Gets him underneath the breastplates right there and just drive, 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 drive. That's a hell of a play by Skaronsky. Let's watch that again. Gets to that second level. Bam. And you know the one thing I love about this too? What He's keeping that wide base. He's moving forward. Bam. Look how he's keeping that wide base right there. And then he just drives him. That's a hell of a play by Skaronsky. Okay, on this play right here, you have a three-point stance. We go pass protection okay there's something that i do not like from skaronsky again okay right there what did i tell you about he struggles with speed rushers and i'm telling you right now you're gonna get beat every time you do something like this in the nfl that is something that he needs to get better at is against those speed rushers <coughs> those speed rushers that have that quick first step off the line of scrimmage. Because you're basically doing a la Garrett Bowles clotheslining on this play. That is something that Skaronsky does from time to time to time. He does a little bit of the Garrett Bowles clothesline. That's something that he needs to get more refi uh, refinement by. Again, he just... Again, that's something you're going to get called in the NFL. Let's see what happened on this play. Let's see if he is just a slow stance. I see. Look how look how low his arms are right here. And then he just grabs him right there. I like the the the, the technique work is fine, but he needs to get out of his his uh stance quicker, quicker, quicker. He's just a step too behind. That's something he needs to get better at. Okay, so now he's in a two-point stance. Okay, let's see what he does here. Northwestern is running a one, two, three, four wide receiver set. There's the tight end, the running back in the backfield.
Oh my god. That is an absolute wow. What watch watch his other hand. Watch his opposite hand here. Just knock him on. Oh my god. That is a hell of a play by Skaronsky. Why can't we get offensive linemen like that? Please. I mean, my god. I love how he gets out of his stance on here too. Watch his watch watch that back foot. Watch his back foot how quick he gets out on the stance. Bam, right there. Quick. Chop, chop, chop. Keeping a good wide base. Just knocks him on his ass. That's a hell of a pay, play by Skaronsky. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my film breakdown on Peter Skaronsky. Like I said, I think that this guy is a day one starter for any team that he gets drafted by in the first round. He could possibly be a top five pick if somebody valued him as much as I do. I love Peter Skaronsky. I mean, watching him play against my Nebraska Cornhuskers, I was just in awe about his technical game. And he's just one of those players that does his job and goes home. He's not one of those players that complains on Twitter, that bitches on Twitter. You know, he's just one of those guys that I would love to coach, that I would love to be around and just pick his brain on his technically refined game. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. I believe that this guy right now, between Paris Johnson and himself... I would say that Paris Johnson to me is the best tackle in this draft, but just 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 slightly over Skaronsky. I just Paris Johnson just has that just pops off the screen when it comes to his ability in the pass protection phase when it comes to certain elements of his technically refined game. But Skaronsky's right there. It's just your preference of what you want. <coughs> you want the higher floor or do you want the higher ceiling? It's what you want. I think Skaratsky is going to be a future Hall of Famer. He could be that. He's just going to be a consistent day one starter for you throughout your career. All like a Joe Thomas, a guy like that. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comic section below. Uh, there's going to be more film breakdowns coming out. I just got to get over the sickness, got to get through work and all that. But uh, I want to say thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to look at guys like this and to give me your guys's feedback on what you see and um yeah so this is a film breakdown gm centric channel so i have no time for trolls or bullshit um if you're gonna come on here and do your typical trolling bullshit your comment will automatically be removed because i don't have time for mental midget minds so i want to engage with people that actually understand the game of football not watch highlight reels and say that's film reviews so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and uh, talk to you guys next time.